Hey, what's going on? This is EJ Uno, and I am back again. And yes, this is a tech review, a tech talk, whatever you want to call it, about the iPhone SE in 2020. And I just wanted to put it out there is that, um, well, before I get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell button, and um, stay tuned for the rest of my video. Check out any of my other videos, and um, got a lot of different various type of stuff. Um, so just keep tuned for all that stuff. So getting back to it, I, um, by choice, did not pick up the iPhone SE. Reason why is because it's the same old thing. It's, it's, I, I'm, I haven't, I am a kind of a fan of Apple, but more of a fan of Android. I got nothing against Apple. It's just the whole thing that just drives me crazy is just that they put out old product with some new stuff that is a little tweaked. But they're still behind, and, and people are still going at it and going to get these iPhones. Yes, it's three ninety nine. Okay, that's not like a big old, like, to me, in this time of day, and I think for the last, like, maybe two two years or whatever, three ninety nine dollars for an iPhone SE that is 4.7 inches is not a good deal. To me, it's really not. I'm not trying to smash Apple. I'm not trying to smash the other YouTubers out there. Yeah, I, I go out there and get my own phone out the money out of my own pocket. If I feel like it's interesting to me that it's going to be interesting for you, I go and get it. And um, so I, I go and do that. Other spots, other people who are on YouTube, they get their phones for free. So on that being said, it's like I guess it's in the contract to say nice things and don't shut this thing down pretty bad. I mean, even though they say they don't give their honest opinion, it's really not like an honest opinion. Um, it, it, it's really not. I mean, when they sit there and be like, okay, well, it has wireless charging. Okay, what phone kind of don't? And what, I mean, and how many people, I mean, me personally, um, I put on different types of backs onto my phone. So it's not, the NFC doesn't reach my, my wireless thing. I, I got to leave it like literally uncovered. And to tell you the truth, who is going to buy, I mean, how many people are going to spend three nine nine on a phone? and leave it on, you know, unprotected. I mean, only if you're a kid and you just got, and your mom and your dad bought it for you and you don't know no better, you're gonna do that. Anybody else is gonna get an outer box for it and it's still gonna be hard to pick up the wireless charging. So that's one thing that I'm just like, okay, it's good to have, but I mean, it, that's like a give and take type of thing. Okay, the resolution is like an iPhone, uh, uh, it's supposed to be like an iPhone 11 re resolution. Okay, that's cool. I mean, it's it should be pretty pretty perfect because if you take which is the iPhone 11 is supposed to be like a 6.2 inch, I, I believe, or something like that, and you're smashing it down to a 4.7. I'm not really sure about the dimensions of the iPhone 11. I I haven't looked at it in a in a while though. But if you're taking an iPhone 11 and resolution and smashing it down to a 4.7, of course it's going to look marvelous. I mean, good lord, you're shrinking the screen and putting more resolution into the screen. Really, you don't really need to have it. And I believe it's at 720. It's not, it's not even at eight, uh, 10, 1080. So that that's another thing. And then, what is it, water and dust, re dust resistant? You know what I'm saying? Let, let me pull this up, you guys. Okay, so I'm just going to let you guys know, I'm not, just like I said, I'm not smashing, like, other subscribers out there and I'm not sitting there like being bad. I'm just like, be wise about what you do. Like, you know what I'm saying? Push Apple to push the envelope further. You know what I'm saying? Like what they could have deal with it. as I see is you guys could have left the home button on there. That's cool. Everybody loves the home button, but you could have raised the top. Like you really could have, like you could have like kept the bezel right there with the fingerprint. That would have been cool. It would have been different and then raise the top. That would have been a little bit different. It would have been, you know, letting people know, oh, man. Because how many people, because if, let me tell you, if you had a car and you, and then they came out with a new car and they just put a little bit of tweaks in there and they wanted you to pay the same amount of money, would you go do it? No, you wouldn't go do it because it's the same car. It has a little bit of tweak and you're paying the same money, but it still has the same frame from 1980 and it's, it's still like that. You're, you're still not going to buy it. You really aren't. So it's just like, Come on, be for real about it. You know what I'm saying? Like you're like 
it it has a couple tweaks. Water resistance. Okay, you guys, this is that Metro PCS right there. iPhone seven for twenty nine dollars. Okay, I'm only I'm not giving advertisement. My Metro PCS isn't sponsoring me nothing like that. But I just wanted to like give an example out there. They got an iPhone seven we um, at Metro for twenty nine dollars. Okay, it's water resistant. It it has the same body. The only thing it don't have is the wireless charging. The resolution. If back in the day, I would have been like, man, Apple has a better resolution. But it's so many Android phones that have a better res better resolution. Even the A50 has a way better resolution and it's bigger. You know what I'm saying? Like Apple's been, like Samsung's been doing that. LG's been doing. It. Everybody's been doing that. It's just like, come on now. Like you're gonna spend three ninety nine for a four point seven inch phone when you can go to Metro and get the phone for twenty nine dollars. You can even go to Cricket and get it for I think twenty nine fifty dollars when you switch over. You can go to Boost Mobile. You can go to any of those and get the same type of phone. Yeah, it won't be like the SE, the the new one that just came out. And you know, and, and one thing I don't see is when you when the YouTubers are out there and they're like trying to sell their point of like the phone because I know you guys got it for free, so I know you guys gotta boost it up a little bit. But it's just like. Why I sit there and say like they brought the Apple phone, the Apple logo down to match every other Apple? It's like wh who are you selling that to? Like who? Like if you really care about the logo being in the middle, being an inch down, then that that's sad. And then you guys put a one, you put one camera, one camera on the iPhone SE. You couldn't even put two cameras on it. That Samsung is like beating the game, and they're just like they they're able to put two or three phones on a budget phone. For people like me, like us, everyone out there, you know what I'm saying? But you guys gonna put one camera on it, like, like, and it was just like, I just don't get it. Time, but they put an A13 chip. I don't care if they put an A50 chip in there. It's really, it, it, it's the phone is going to be fast no matter what because first of all, you're dealing with a small phone, you're dealing with a small resolution. It's just like you're cheating the deal, and then it's just like me. I just don't, I don't really get it, and it's just like, so you're telling me that they put fingerprint on there, but they couldn't put face recognition on there. Like, you couldn't go through the whole nine yards. Like, you had to take face recognition out and kept the kept the thumbprint. So it's just like, people think about it. Like, really think about it. Like, you're going to get this iPhone SE, and it's like, really? Is it really worth it? Like, I, like, I can't even, like, I swear, I'll be trying, I'll look at it every YouTuber. I'm talking about from um, Brown, um, What's it, Marcus Brown? Marcus Brown, he's a YouTuber, or, or and then on down the list, and everybody's like, man, they say the same thing. It's like this was, it was like in the script. Apple was saying, please sell this, say this to sell this for us, and it's like I get it, but it's just like, dude, it's like we look for. It's just like I'm looking for the real review on it. Like I, I'm like, man, it, it was really actually selling me for a minute. Then I had to think for a minute, like, man. If I went out and buy this phone for $399 and I see the same phone that's the iPhone 7 and I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to go pay $399 for a phone that I can actually get and, and leave out like a couple tweaks that I could really care about because I really don't care about the wireless charging. I, I, I have and had and have plenty of phones that got wireless charging. I barely use the wireless charging. I'm telling you, I only use, I, I'm telling you, I, I haven't even, I can't remember the last time I have literally used wireless charging on phones I already have. Um, let me see another thing. Waterproof. I, I do like a phone that's waterproof, but I do like a phone that's twenty nine dollars that I can pay for versus a phone that's three nine nine I can pay for. And that's the iPhone seven. It's still water dust and um, waterproof resistant. You know what I'm saying? So it's just I'm not knocking down an iPhone. I'm just saying you guys already have a phone that does the same thing or a little bit of the same thing and don't do a lot. Like you know what I'm saying? Get real. You know what I'm saying? Like. I just wanted just to put that out there because it's just been, I'm just like, is anybody really going to tell the truth about the phone? Because you, because it's like, we're in a tough age right now, tough, tough time right now that money's, money's like, you know, not really good. It's just like, I can see selling the iPhone SE at like $200. But to try to squeeze another $200 out of people just for that, it's just like, no, the thing is worth literally maybe $199. It's not worth no Four hundred dollars. It's really not. It's it it's it, it doesn't even eager me to be like, man, that is a bad phone. Like it has a glass back for for a wireless charger. It's just I can't get over that. I just can't get over how they sell this stuff. The 
the Apple logo is down an inch. Like, who is that really, like, enticing to buy? It? So, you know what I'm saying? So, anyway, I just wanted to just to get my, you know, get my thoughts about that. Tell me what you guys leave, think. Leave a description below. And, um, you know, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell button. I appreciate y'all tuning in. And stay tuned for more.